Inland Taipan. Contrary to popular belief, not all creatures in Australia can kill you, but this one can. The Inland Taipan, also known as the Fierce Snake, is the single most venomous snake in the world. Rough estimates say that one bite is lethal enough to not only kill one fully grown human being, but up to a hundred and probably even more. If a bite were to go untreated, the victim would be a goner within an hour. Its habitat, the remote central eastern regions of Australia, prevents it from coming into contact with humans very often, which is a good thing for both species. Now, we, of course, do not want to die, and the snake, at the same time, being shy and reclusive by nature, likely wants nothing to do with us. So that fierce snake nickname is clearly derived solely from its venom and not its personality. Tibetan Macaque If you're looking for an animal equivalent to Albus Dumbledore or Gandalf, look no further than the Tibetan Macaque. Only the much weirder looking proboscis monkey, which we'll get into a bit later, rivals the macaque as the largest monkey endemic to Asia. They live in subtropical forests at high elevations from northeastern India to Shanxi in China. Pygmy Slow Loris in most pictures of the pygmy slow loris in the wild features the creatures sitting on or hugging a tree trunk. Not only do they sleep while hugging branches, but a large part of the diet is actually tree exudates, or gum. You may be able to tell from the large beady eyes that the pygmy slow loris is a nocturnal creature. They live in Vietnam, where the numbers were greatly reduced during the violence of the Vietnam War, eastern Cambodia, and China. Unfortunately, they are also hunted for use in traditional medicines. All of this this adds up to the conservation status being vulnerable today. Raccoon Dog Although they are not closely related and do not live anywhere near each other, the raccoon dog shares a great resemblance with the crab-eating fox, another crazy animal that lives in South America, where it spends its time hunting crab, lizards, and various flying animals. The raccoon dog is indigenous, on the other hand, to East Asia. It's also been introduced to parts of Europe, including Sweden, where they're considered an invasive and even hazardous species. Step Polecat. Found from Central Europe straight through to Central Asia, the Step Polecat is a dirty thief. It rarely digs its own burrow and instead uses other animals like ground squirrels and hamsters after widening them a bit. Oh, and look, it's right in your grill giving you some attitude. How you like that? All right, Step Polecat, get out of here. That is more than enough from you, mate. Baiji. The Great Leap Forward was a disastrous economic campaign that took place from 1958 to 1962 and was led by China's Mao Zedong to transform the country into a socialist society. Millions of people would die along with thousands upon thousands of Baiji who were hunted for the flesh to near extinction. By 1990, the population was down to around 200. By 1998, only seven were found in a survey. The last confirmed sighting happened in 2004, and though there is a chance they're somewhere out there, they were declared extinct in 2006. When alive, their only home was the Yangtze River, and for many years, the China was actually revered in the country. Brazilian Treehopper. Now, this critter looks like a tiny alien that came down from another planet and decided to disguise itself as just another insect. Okay, we'll believe you when you lose those balls on top of your head, you extraterrestrial invaders, you. What's more is that the experts don't seem to know what that weird growth coming out of its head might be. They conjecture it's to prevent its predators on Earth from eating them. We believe it's to propel themselves to the homeland in another galaxy. blue-footed booby. So you'll never guess how this critter got its name. Those bright blue feet are the first thing that pop out at you on a wayward glance at this creature. It's a trait which males display during an elaborate mating ritual. They're found from the Gulf of California all the way down to Peru and breed at a gathering point for a lot of pretty remarkable animals that populate the Galapagos Islands. 
Coconut crab. You might think the craziest aspect of the coconut crab, upon looking at one, is simply its physical appearance. If this were basically any other creature, well, you'd be right. But the coconut crab, at any age, has to watch out for and even fear its own kind. Older or bigger crabs are known cannibals that will likely chow down on the younger or smaller brethren. There's plenty more about the coconut crab that's sure to fascinate. They have total lifespans that may range over 60 years. They can also weigh up to 9 pounds total weight and have measurements that exceed 3 feet long from leg to leg. They're the largest land arthropod species on the planet. Saiga antelope, three areas of Kazakhstan, and one location in Russia's Republic of Kalmykia. Those are the only places where the Saiga antelope exists in today's world. Perhaps if it were more widespread, the odd creature would be well known because it certainly has a distinguishing characteristic. And that snout truly is something else, isn't it? If this creature were human, it would be hard not to stare at its nose. And then if you did, and the antelope noticed, well, things would get super awkward. And depending on the setting or social situation, that could make for a really long night. Anywho, their declining numbers and conservation status are the most important information we can pass along about the Saiga antelope. They were once found in Romania and Moldova, but those populations got hunted to extinction. They have value for the meat, skin, and horns, the latter of which only grow on males. From the mid-1950s to the early 1990s, roughly 92 tons of meat were collected from over 5 million slaughtered Saigas. Consequently, they are a critically endangered species staring at the possibility of total extinction. Naked Mole Rat Now you wouldn't think these were super rodents in any way. They look like parts of body parts that should never be seen, human or otherwise. But they're actually pretty remarkable creatures with amazing attributes. For starters, they feel no pain. That's right, they lack receptors in the skin and don't feel anything even when exposed to acid. They could do that thing the Terminator does when it peels the skin off its metal hand and show a similar lack of pain. And scientists told us they have an incredibly high resistance to tumors and are nearly entirely resistant to cancer. The animal is also extensively studied for its ability to survive in oxygen-deprived environments. When breathing air with just 5% oxygen, they can survive for at least five hours. In a zero oxygen atmosphere, they remarkably lasted 18 minutes without suffering any apparent harm. Oh, and one last thing. Did you know the naked mole rat is the longest living rodent with an incredible lifespan of up to 32 years. Clearly, they would make for an awesome pet until we gently remind you that they do look like this. Orchid mantis. Perhaps none of the species of mantis that resemble flowers are more striking or do the job better than the orchid or walking flower mantis. It's an extremely rare creature, both in the wild, where it's found only in Malaysia and amongst collectors. Though it's likely favored and prized by insect breeders, its rareness makes it very expensive. Wetaponga. Now most of you will be happy to hear that this giant weta bug is confined only to Little Barrier Island which is off the coast of New Zealand and several smaller islands. Females are much larger than males, but on average, they weigh around an ounce. They're a vulnerable species, but when they've been purposely relocated to help the population, the results have been promising. Wetapunga released on Tiri Tiri Matanga Island have been observed mating. Spiny Softshell Turtle This odd-looking turtle is dispersed widely throughout the U.S. and parts of Mexico and Canada. They spend a lot of the time beneath the surface of the water, hidden beneath a layer of sand with just the head exposed. You wouldn't think it from a turtle, but they can get going when they need to and are capable of short bursts of speed. Chinese Jeboa Plenty about this nocturnal creature is fascinating. First of all, the Chinese jeboa is a tiny rodent found in desert regions throughout northern Africa and Asia. But they act a lot more like kangaroos. They have long hind legs, short forelegs, and long tails. They hop about the territory to get around. Apart from that, they're incredibly fast. When being chased and its adrenaline is pumping through its body, these creatures can hit impressive speeds of 15 miles per hour. Flying Dragon Flying dragons exist, just not in the way you might expect. 
These creatures, also known as Draco lizards, do not exactly fly, but they have incredible gliding capabilities. They can extend the ribs and membrane to create those wings you see. They can glide for incredible distances that have been recorded as being up to 200 feet. They can also maneuver with great efficiency mid-air, using the tails to steer themselves. Sure, at just under 9 inches long, they are a lot smaller than the creatures of myth that the name evokes, but look at them, they're still pretty awesome, right? Goblin Shark One of the craziest creatures in or out of the ocean, the Goblin Shark has earned its living fossil reputation as it's been a species on this planet for the last 125 million years or so. Luckily, we don't come into contact with them too often. They spend most of their time at depths greater than 330 feet, and hopefully they stay there. Just look at them. You won't find a much more nightmare-inducing critter, as far as appearance goes anyway. Giant Isopod, a crazy creature that simply cannot be ignored. The giant isopod has all the characteristics of your typical everyday isopod, except for one obvious fact. It suffers or perhaps benefits from deep sea gigantism. They can grow to weigh nearly four pounds and measure over two feet long. The numbers are abundant in cold, deep waters around the world, including the Atlantic, Pacific, and Atlantic Oceans. Now, it's good that they're confined to the ocean because we do not even want to think about finding a land version crawling up our legs. Okay, so this video was kinda all over the place. We started things off with an Australian snake, learned a lot about the remarkable naked mole rat, and have just left you with a giant isopod. Now, sorry if it was sensory overload, there's just so much epicness out in the wildlife. Ah, so you want to know more about that epic wildlife, do you? Well, that is easy, mate. Just subscribe. Check out some of our past videos and look out for our newest efforts, which come out daily. Now, are you ready for our last creature on the list? Ah, well, sorry if we fooled you on that one, because that's all for today. Ah, sorry if we fooled you, but that's it for today. However, if you liked it, let us know. And with your suggestions, we'll have another similar video coming out soon. Thanks for watching, everyone. Cheers.